G'day ladies and gentlemen, Pidey here, and welcome back to another Minecraft mod review. In this one, I'm looking at an awesome mod that's just been released uh, by the maker of the uh, crafting table number two, which if you haven't seen, well, I'm going to provide a link for it in the description. But this mod is called Minecam. Yeah, it's chemistry, ladies and gentlemen, in Minecraft. <laughs> oh yeah, this is very cool. Now, these are some blocks here. We'll get into looking at them in a minute. Uh, but the first thing I want to look at is, at least using, now there is a chemistry book, which you can actually look at, and I'll quickly just show you it. Uh, just simply right click on it. And what it will actually do is it tells you that essentially the components of what different things are. So if you are looking for certain things, yeah, it gives you the uh, chemical uh, elements for what different things will break down into, which is kind of cool. And so yeah, you can just pan through that. Very cool, very cool. All right, the other thing is also is these. It's a hangable table of elements and a table of elements. Now, I'll show you the uh, just the table of elements. Once you've got it in your hand, you just right click and there you go, look at that. It brings you up all of the different uh, chemical elements and what they all are. So, and, and gives you obviously their number. So there's like, you know, hydrogen. It tells you what they all are and goes right down to 103 of all the elements. Uh, then you hit escape to get out of that, otherwise you can't get out of it. The other one is the hangable one, which you get basically create like a five high by nine wide wall. And there you go. <laughs> you can place it up on the wall. That is pretty cool. The only thing is I've also noticed, uh, if you do log out, that actual panel will disappear, which is a little annoying, but uh, maybe I'm doing, I don't know if it's just me not you know, doing something wrong, but whatever. Maybe it's just a small bug. But yeah, let's get on with it, ladies and gentlemen, because this is cool. Yeah, I'm not going to delve too much into this, because this is pretty massive, what you can actually do with this mod. I'm just going to tinker with a few things, and pretty much just show you what each of them are. Um, so here we actually have all the different uh, different uh, table, or different uh, crafting benches, I suppose you can call them. And this is the electrolysis uh, uh, cube, or I suppose you can call it uh, block. This one is a bonder. I'll get into the description of what they will do in a minute. This one is the uh, fusion reactor. Actually, I can show you what they, I can show you the recipes here. So this is electrolysis. So this is how you craft it. Uh, just for that, just some redstone. Uh, so redstone and then iron blocks. The other one was the bonder, which is crafted with six iron ingots on the sides and then three slime balls. And then the, you got the fusion reactor, which is this one here, which is crafted like thus. You need to create thorium. Which you can easily do, and well, I shouldn't say easily do, but you can do. <laughs> so some of these things you do need to actually be crafting your elements beforehand. And we'll quickly get out of that. Now the uh, fourth one is this one, which is the unbonder, which is essentially the opposite to the bonder, quite funnily enough. <laughs> but to craft that, you just get six iron ingots again, but rather than slime balls, you use three TNT. And I'll get out of that again. This one is the fission reactor, which is, oh, I've got a couple of things already in there. Nice, didn't even know they were even there. But, uh, got, what the hell they even are? Actually, I'll get rid of them, don't really care anyway. That is uh, created by simply having six iron ingots down the side, a couple of diamonds, and uranium in the middle. And the last one is the molecular crafting bench. So, all you got to do with these is... You don't need to have empty vials in there, empty test tubes. And you simply craft that by, if I hit the right button, simply having like upside down pants with some hyd with a hydrogen test tube in there and a crafting table. So yeah, let's get on with it. So first thing you want to do is use the electrolysis. Now the cool thing about the electrolysis is, uh, actually what I'm going to do is, you, well basically all you do is you get a couple of empty test tubes which I will show you craft with just three glass blocks. Very easy. And then you can just simply put, you can pretty much put any item in there you you've, you can think of, basically. Any sort of, like any of your ores, your, uh, like if you just got like a block of, uh, like an iron ore, uh, or even the iron ingots can break them down too. So you can put things like that. You can basically just play around with pretty much anything. And as you can see here, we've been given some oxygen and some hydrogen. I'm going to quickly do that again because I want to create a few things here. Because there is also one more block that you can also, these also been added to the game um, that I'm going to craft for you. That's pretty much what I'm going to be doing with this. And so I'll just let this one go through. 
Plus, there is also this mod is also designed to work with Buildcraft and Industrial Craft 2. So, and with that, you can pretty much automate this process. Now, I'm just doing this again by hand. You know, so it's a very slow process. Uh, but yeah, you can basically speed this up, which is pretty damn cool. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some... I'll just grab some iron ingots. I'm going to put them in here as well. Yeah, put a couple of test tubes in there. So while that's going through, I'm going to come over to the, un the unbonder. And I'm going to... Uh, actually, yeah, I'm going to put that in there. Oops. Sorry, that one in there. And I'm going to put a couple of... Uh... Oh, that was only two anyway, so I don't need two of there because I only break down into two. So they'll, go from a, they'll go from an oxygen two to just oxygen. Because what I'm going to actually make now... So I don't need to worry about the hydrogen. I'm not worrying about that at the moment. Now, this is some iron. So that's the chemical element there of Fe and Fe5. So I'm going to come into the unbonder again because I want to break this down. I'm going to go there, there, and then there. Actually, no, I'll just do... Oh, no, I will need three. So now it's giving me an Fe2. And it's giving me all these other ones. So I want to... Now, I'm going to go to the bonder. Now, I'm going to get rid of these. Get them out of there. I'm going to put an Fe2 in there. And an oxygen. And, an, and if I can find the right one, an o oxygen 2. Now you put that into there, this will now give me, as you can see it says on here, iron oxide. So that's a chemical element of Fe2O3. So now, if you actually have two of those, I don't think I'm going to have enough for two of them. But if you actually get two of them, and oh, I should probably have to actually do this again. So I'm going to repeat the process. I know it's a little bit slow, but I really want to do this because it's quite fun. Okay, so... Get this done here. I might, actually might have had enough of that, but uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. And I also need to do some more iron as well. Because the other thing you can also do too, as I mentioned before, it does work with Buildcraft and that. You can automate this with having heaps more machines, and if you use Buildcraft, you can have the pipes running. Uh, because one thing you can also do too, is you can put in this bottom bit here, um, you can put in some coal. And I'll grab them out of there, and I'll put the coal in, all right, and I'll put them in there so that it works with coal. They'll end up breaking it down and giving you carbon. Now, if you then, once you get all those and you keep combining them in the bonder, eventually you will end up with a couple of carbon 64s. Now, if you're thinking, hmm, so what? We'll actually show you what one of these other ones do. So I've shown you these ones here pretty much. Now, the fusion reactor, what this one, it will just... Get them out of there because what the fusion. I'm just showing you what these ones do. The fusion reactor basically just gets a couple of different elements. I'm not sure if that's going to be on. Oh, no, they're not going to actually combine. But what the what the fusion reaction will do will actually create different elements. So it's a way of combining them. Uh, this one here is the fission reactor that will actually like pull elements or sort of break them down. But what you can do is once you finally got like say this one here is two C64s, you can put them into your molecular crafting block. And we'll let this go through. And what do you think it's going to give you? This is just... You can make these solely from coal. from coal, And it will give you diamonds. <laughs> it is a bit of a... It is a long process to do. But if you automate this with Buildcraft. Uh, yeah, it will make it an automatic process. It will be very, very awesome. Okay. So now we want some of these them into there because I want to make another one of these because it's the last thing this is going to incorporate and I think I've pretty much covered what all these features do and let's just hope this works I was going to look like a complete another goose okay so it's giving me a V5 it's giving me a couple of them and as you can see none of these stacks you can quite easily run out of space <laughs> but um, so I want FE that one there one, one two and a three and I'm hoping I do have enough. Good. This is going to work perfectly. Um, okay, so that's now giving me an Fe2. And now I can go to the bonder. I can get them out of there. Now go to the Fe2. And put the O2 and an O. Now this will again give me the iron oxide, which is this, this one right here. 
And once it's finished, there we go. It's the FE203, that's what they both are. So now you can, with this one, you can come up to the molecular crafting. Uh, get rid of the test tube, of these test tubes, because they always end up with them left over. Chuck both of them in, and now we'll actually see what this is going to craft. I mean, I already know it's going to craft. It is going to make thermite. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Very cool. Sorry, just change the timing again. So what can you do with thermite? Well, I'll show you, because it is very awesome. I'll just drop them there like that. And so I've got to uh, use NEI to give myself... Uh, where the bloody hell is that? I always lose the flint and steel. There it is. Okay, set fire to these. Put that out. Yep, it's thermite. It's just going to burn through the ground. And as you can see, though, it also spits out the blocks. So pretty much as long as you're standing there, you'll be able to pick up... <laughs> it's a nice way of mining, isn't it? Because, you, as I said, it spits out the blocks. Now, I don't know if it goes all the way down to bedrock, but it will certainly go a reasonable way down. I'm hoping I'm holding down... No, I'm holding down shift. Now, see, one of them's already gone out, so... There you go. <laughs> How cool is that? That one's just about to burn its way out, I think. No, it's still going. Oh, there we go. It's finally gone. So, I mean, that's gone down, what, a good, probably 15 blocks or so? <laughs> that is awesome. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is a basic look of what this uh, amazing mod can do. Again, all you do is with electrolysis, you just simply put in empty uh, test tubes. And, you know, you can put in whatever. You can, oh, this is what the slime ball does to actually get your... Uh, well, actually, this is what gives you uranium, I believe it is. These three slime balls which are pretty enough hard enough to come by as a best anyway, which I'm not going to actually do anything with. I'm just using this one just to show you. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to give any major details with this review. I'm just basically showing, there you go. It gives you carbon and also uranium as well. <laughs> so there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Go nuts, because this mod is massive, and it is going to be huge. I can tell you that right now. With the amount of stuff you can do, and of course, like I said, you are breaking stuff down in this with the electrolysis, but then when you get to the final process of the molecular crafting, you're turning these elements into actual objects again. So again, you can again, as I said, you can turn a heap of coal into diamonds, which you can certainly automate if you have this going with Buildcraft and other other items that or other mods that use um, Forge and so forth. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely go check it out. This is an well, basically this is an epic mod. Um, yeah, the link will be in the description as always. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, keep cool, keep safe, and I'll catch you around. Goodbye.